Image restoration is defined as recovering a pristine image from its distorted counterpart. The distorted image could be corrupted with noise, blur, undersampling, compression, etc. Various types of convolutional neural networks have been designed to perform this task. However, the choice of the loss function between the target and the predicted image remains central to training of such networks. In literature, the types of loss functions used can be broadly classified into three categories. Handcrafted loss functions such as the mean squared error, the absolute error, SSIM, MSSSIM, etc. Feature-wise losses such as the VGG loss and the LPIPS loss and the adversarial loss. However, the current loss functions have some drawbacks. For example, there is no single loss function that has shown to perform well across different restoration applications and on different datasets. Convolutional neural networks used as feature extractors have been trained for applications which are not directly related to restoration. For example, the VGG network is trained for image classification. The LPIPS loss network is trained for prediction of image quality. Furthermore, the feature extractors are trained to learn the natural image manifold. This makes the task much harder, thereby requiring huge amounts of training data. Instead, what do we actually need in a loss function for image restoration? Do we need a feature extractor that is trained to learn the entire manifold of natural images? No. Do we need a feature extractor to be sensitive to the input distortions instead? Yes. So finally, we need a feature extractor that can detect a particular set of distortions and penalize them. This gives rise to the need of task-specific losses, which means a feature extractor should be trained specifically to detect and remove those particular artifacts. To this end, we propose our task-specific loss function named Multiscale Discriminative Feature Loss. Training of our loss function for a single scale for the task of JPEG artifact removal is as follows. The input image is first compressed using JPEG compression and is then fed to a patchwise reconstructive generator. The predicted patch is then compared with the ground truth patch using a discriminative model. The generator model is trained to remove the specific distortions, compression artifacts in this case, and the discriminator is trained to differentiate between the images that contain the artifacts and the ones that do not. The training loss is as follows. This comprises the scale 1 of our training. Here we show how the training is done in a multi-scale manner. First we start with training of the first scale as shown before. Then the predicted output from the first scale is upsampled. It is then added with same distortions and passed through the second state generator and discriminator networks. The same step is done for K stages, where the task-specific distortions are added iteratively at each stage of training. This constitutes the first phase of our training method. At the end of the first phase of training, we get trained set of K discriminators. The coarser scale discriminator D1 now acts as a feature extractor between the predicted and the target image. Feature maps are taken from all intermediate layers of the discriminator. This step is also carried out for all the trained discriminators up to kth scale. Our MDF loss is the sum of the mean squared error between the feature maps of all layers and for all scales. The proposed MDF loss can simply be replaced with conventionally used VGG loss for training existing image restoration networks. Here, we show the quantitative comparison of our loss with other competing loss functions in the form of a Voiland plot in terms of PSNR. It can be seen that in case of our loss function, the number of worst performing images have been drastically reduced, even if the performance in terms of PSNR is not that substantial. This performance is consistent across different applications and on different datasets. We also conducted a subjective user study where the participants were provided with two generated images alongside the reference image. The plots show the results for all applications in JND units. It can be seen that across all applications, the image generated using our methods were chosen by users.